Save the Oasis. Save the world. Players. In honor of Ready Player One's release, the Hollywood Reporter's sci-fi and comic book movie destination, Heat Vision, spoke to screenwriter Zach Penn about some of his impressive career highlights that helped change the course of some huge franchises. Penn, who wrote the script for the Steven Spielberg film with Ready Player One author Ernest Cline, was an architect of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, spun stories for the early days of Fox's X-Men franchise, and even had a small hand in movies like Men in Black and The Mask of Zorro. Though X2 X-Men United is considered by many to be one of the greatest comic book movies of all time, things could have gone differently without intervention from Penn, who shares story credit with Brian Singer and David Hayter. The film subtly sets up the transformation of Jean Grey into the Phoenix in its final moments when the hero sacrifices herself for her teammates by tapping an unknown power within herself. She then returned as the Phoenix in the 2006 sequel X-Men The Last Stand. But originally the full-fledged Phoenix transformation would have happened in X2 rather than The Last Stand. On X2, part of how I ended up getting the job on it was that originally that was going to be the Phoenix story, says Penn, who pushed director Brian Singer to hold that plot back. I just said, you've built up this real universe and you should establish it more before you go into Phoenix. Penn left the project before shooting began, but his influence was felt. It was too soon to go into the Phoenix story and it was too soon to get cosmic, he points out. I would say that's probably the biggest contribution I made was pushing it in that direction. Before there was a Marvel Cinematic Universe, Penn was among those who advocated for a cinematic universe featuring Fox's X-Men characters. The newly formed Marvel Studios offered Penn the chance to come on board to write The Avengers. Ultimately, he shares a story credit with Joss Whedon, who has said he started from scratch and wrote his own script when he came in as director. Penn spent the early days of the MCU working to bring it all together, communicating with the Phase 1 film's directors and adjusting his own script as they developed. Says Penn, I remember Chris Hemsworth walking through the Marvel offices and being, oh my god, that guy is Thor, says Penn. But before Hemsworth hit the scene, there were doubts, including from Penn himself, that Thor would work at all on film. Originally, I was trying to reduce how much Thor was in the movie, Penn admits. Once it was clear that, no, this is going to work and they were excited about it, then I did not reduce Thor in the script. I stopped doing that. I created a hidden object, an Easter egg. The first person to find the egg will inherit half a trillion dollars. When it comes to the new film, Penn and Klein brought about one big change from the Ready Player One novel, which we won't spoil here, but it involves a lengthy sequence paying tribute to a classic film. When the duo settled on the movie reference, they weren't sure Spielberg would go for it. According to Penn, when you see the movie, if you know anything about Spielberg's history, you will see why we were thinking he wouldn't go for it, but he did. And then it became by far the most difficult thing to get right in the movie, because it's a classic. You really had to figure out what are we going to do with this movie that makes sense. Klein is working on a sequel novel, and Penn notes that he and the author have spent a lot of time discussing a possible film sequel as well. Penn plans to return should the film sequel move forward. For much more from Penn on Ready Player One and his work on such movies as Men in Black and 1993's Last Action Hero, head to THR.com's Heat Vision. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.